To configure pseudo translation in MemoQ, you go under the Tools menu to Options and Machine Translation. Here you see a list of all of the machine translation plugins offered by Kilgray. The one that we want is a little further down in the list, so we're going to scroll to it. It's the MemoQ pseudo translation plugin. To enable it, you simply mark the corresponding checkbox. There are also options available, and if you want, you can determine which characters are substituted for which other characters when you do the pseudo translation. However, that's not absolutely necessary to use the function. Okay, once you've enabled the plugin, you click OK. And then you go under the Operations menu. Pseudo translation is a form of pre translation, so we'll find it under Operations, Pre Translate. And in the pre translation dialog, you see the checkbox for Use Machine Translation. And in this particular case, we've enabled pseudo translation, so this is the type of so called machine translation that will be used in this case. So we will mark machine translation, click OK, and then the pseudo translation takes place. And as you can see, the program has gone through and substituted nonsense characters for the original characters and prefixed everything with a hash mark and then put a dollar sign at the end of everything. These are all configurable options so you can have different characters substituted. And you'll notice that where tags are present in the source, they're present in the target. Where there's bold text in the source, there's bold text in the target. Italics in the source correspond with italics in the target and any other formatting that's present. Once the pseudo translation has been completed, you can then export your file and then check it and make sure that it will in fact be able to be read in the original environment that created that file. And here you can see it all comes in, all of the translation content has been processed and we know that we can successfully complete this project.